Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World The Game! Where we're in, oh, well I'll put in some volume music whatever, but really I haven't, uh, what do you call it, put the, uh, yeah, hi! <laughs> so yes, there has been a tournament just ended that was the Nyctosaurus! And, uh, was, it Nyc was it Nyctosaurus? Yes, Nyctosaurus, there we go. We have won it. This was a different kind of tournament because the only things that you could do to enter the tournament or use were flyers only. So hold on, let me just collect all of this. I'll turn on the music. There we go, there we go. Hopefully, also, we aren't in three FPS. Also, I noticed in my last video, I put three PS. <laughs> Instead of 3 FPS. I was like, oh, that, I obviously went, oh, 3 PS. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, what does that mean? Well, we have the newest creature. We're still, like, ticking off a couple of the dinosaurs that we do not have in the game yet. So, if I was to go down here, really, at the moment, the only things I care about in the game, and I think most people care about in the game, are the Jurassics. Unfortunately, Aquatics and Cenozoics have fallen by the wayside. And I think it would be a great time for Ludia or Jam City to change it a little bit in order to, uh, you know, they could put something in to make them more useful because it's a lot of wasted resources. And if I'm honest, I, I could probably just delete them or sell them all and then use that DNA for actually good creatures in the Jurassic. But, you know, the fact that I've got them, make them usable. That'd be quite interesting. So what do I not have? I don't have the Tyrannolophosaurus. Now, we could work towards that. I don't have the uh, Terraquetzal. Uh, I think I am able to get that. <gasps> there it is. But what do I need? Oh, maybe I've unlocked that guy. Have I Have I unlocked it? No, I haven't. So I've, I've got to get him still. Also, the game has decided that... Now, nowadays, if you need anything, there's a book option to trade. And it's always a deal. Always a deal. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the last tournament we just finished, it was kind of tough. Because I didn't have that many creatures to use, and they were only flyers. And I think it was about 1,100 cups you needed in order to unlock the creature. Uh, so, yes, I've stopped my, my countdowns. So, if you do have VIP and you do have these buildings, I would suggest... Instant hatching something as quickly as you can. Just one. And doing the creation lab instant speed up just once as well. So that, you know, that timer starts to run out. And just make sure that you use the rest of them before it's up. At least that way, you know, you're going to get... The, the, there might be, like, ten minutes where you can have four... Well, seven instant hatches. Uh, Sixteen, or sorry, fifteen instant speed ups. If you time it correctly. And it also, you know, you're getting close. Like, there's nothing I need to use them for at the moment, right? So as that time is ticking away, maybe in a couple days time or closer to the end of the time, I'll need those for something. So yeah, this is the first time in a long time that there isn't anything to unlock in the ship trade harbor, which is weird because they've always had something able to be worth a trade in there. And we are desperately low on food. Only 15 million. But this could all be righted. We've got decorations. Remember, loyalty points? Not bucks. Not worth it. And I have noticed, I think yesterday, I got two really good trades for the Apatosaur Fossil for 300 bucks each. Which is good for me, because that tournament we just had, the Nyctosaurus tournament, I did need to spend, I think, about two to 3,000 bucks speeding up creatures back, because... I, I don't know what happened. I just didn't have enough, um, like, uh, creatures. So there we- there! Can we get it? Beautiful! Beautiful! Look at that! 280! Boom! Let's get it! So that is really good. Hopefully it reimburses me for all of this. So I've, I've spent 100, so that's, you know, only 100 and all I got, but... Uh, go on. I mean, I can buy that back if I need it. Uh, really, it's not something I want to do. I don't want to trade creatures now, because now they're needed for stuff, so I don't want to do that. I need them for maybe a new creature. Ah, ooh, a Spinosaurus skelly bone for 3,000 bucks. Whoa, I'd have to be crazy not to. <laughs> right, trade that. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, not really worth it. That is definitely worth it. Yes, 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 please. Uh, that's not worth it. That is not worth it. But there we go. There we go. We've done some trades. Done some of that. 
We've also got these dailies. I don't know what I'm on now. 7,000. I think it's about 15,000 max, isn't it, these days? Yes, 15,000. Red, again, I think once we've got to red, that's all the Atrociraptor's done. So I'm wondering if they'll keep on adding. They haven't repeated that just yet. So what do we have? We have another tournament ending in two days. Oh my, please never end. The Plesiosuchus. Do I have that? Now, again, it's not, you know, a creature that I need because it's an aquatic, but we can't, you know, not have something because we've had creatures in the past, like the Alanga... What was that? What was that fish with a big sail? What was it? The Banalgamus. That's it. That This had a hybrid, which was, if I guess, it was a land creature. So that there is a reason for us to get these, but I don't have the Suchodus. I don't have... The Platygrinius. But is there any? What was the, what was it? It was called the Plesiosuchus, I think it was. I don't Am I just missing it? Platasarapus. Yeah. I'm I'm okay. Well, what are you? 30 Owen man! You and your plot So this is It is a legendary tournament creature. Creature, but I, for the life of me, I'm I'm just missing it. Suchodus is the only one I don't have, as far as I can tell. The other ones I I kind of all have. Mosasaur. Can I can I label them like alphabetically? No. Ferocity, ferocity, the ferocious at the top. Oh wait, hold on. Platy, no, no. Oh there it is. I already I have a level forty. <laughs> Oh, never mind. We don't really need to worry about the tournament. Uh, but what is the entry for it? It's aquatics only, which means that it's probably going to be lower. Probably the same as the one we've just had, which was pteranodons only. So if you're in... Ooh, I mean, what rewards? You get probably 2,600 VIP points, you know, if you're VIP, which is very good. VIP points. VIP points. We're two in French. <laughs> All of a second. Uh, 2,500 DNA. 500 eggs! Nope, I, I am worried it would be good. But no, bucks instead. So, let's see what we've got. Dive into battle. Well, it's messed up the prize there, definitely. We've got a challenger red. We don't really need to worry about too much. A Clash of Titans never happens. I, they probably need to rework that. Uh, so it's more, you know, that I want to actually do it or have even the means of doing it. Nothing in here via my exclusive. But the Battle Stage Infinite, always good to see. Houston Berger, Alogamus, and Staranosaurus looks. Yeah, very hard. Very hard to do. Like, do we have enough to make it level 40, actually? Where is Scorpius? <gasps> Scorpius, darling, where are you? Are you already level 40? We got you. Look, look at it. 60 FPS, I hope. I did test this beforehand. So if it's not 60 FPS, you can't say I didn't try. <laughs> But look at it! Look at it in 60 FPS glory! Pretty full! Yes! Ducky! Right, I guess we're gonna have to do that battle then. But I do wanna see the new Look at this! <gasps> look at them! You did tell me! You guys, in the comments, you told me that it was only for a limited time, but they have come back with a hundred, 125, 150 buck incubator. So I've made sure to use them and put all the tournament creatures in there so it'll last forever. But we do have an instant speed up, and I do want to see what we just got which was the flyer and na, 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 na. hold on where are you there it is is it better than that Ooh, 1100 less health for 300 attack uh, debatable debatable if that's any good but i will use an instant hatch Nyctosaurus! I, I love its head crest. Look at that! Beautiful! Yes, go away, you are. Yes! It's almost like you could put a flag in there. Do you think we'll have some scientific discovery where it had a sail in between the two? It feels like it's missing it, right? Now, most pteranodons have something in there, and we, maybe we just haven't found it. But someone really liked deer and elk and went, no. <laughs> So we'll feed you. Look at it go. Pretty, pretty. I've got ideas for the thumbnail for you. You're going to be eaten by a Mosasaur. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so looks like that Nyctosaurus means night lizard due to the resemblance of this creature to a bat. 
Um, um, I mean, if you if you just covered the the head, maybe I suppose. But the rest of it, I don't I don't really see the resemblance. So how much does this guy cost? Seven thousand five hundred. I mean, we could. Again, it's a torment creature, so it's going to cost thousands, maybe 1,300 to speed up. So we we don't. It's not needed right now. We can, we can save our DNA, save our books, save our instant hatches for something else. However, right now, we have Starachosaurus looks an analog of this. Right. So, actually, this isn't too bad. This is a good one because we can use all carnivores, whereas two of them are neutral and one of them is weak. And the stro stronger health-wise is weak. Uh, no, it's not! Oh my god, just Ambersia knocks them all out of the park with health and attack. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of tempted for an armor matter at the end. I feel like it'll switch in just Ambersia, though. Right. Pachyganosaurus, actually really good. I don't know if I put it in my top 10, but it should have been up there because of the health. Very good for a st for those hard battles when you need to at least tank two hits. And I think I may be able to tank... Well, definitely two hits from Staraxor Lux. Alogamous? Debatable. I feel like I'll probably die in two hits still. But we need to see Scorpius Rex because we haven't seen Scorpius Rex yet. And I want to go for Armor Matter just in case. But at the same time, I feel like we'll have Staraxor Lux last. So... Of the top three dinosaurs that we have, I think in the game, I, I don't think there's any ones that I haven't got maxed that are better. Pachygalosaurus, Scorpius Rex, show two, an Indoraptor. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. There they are, the best creatures that you can get. Right, we'll go for reserve right off the bat. Don't forget, drink your tea. Today's choice is a sweet royal milk tea from Japan's combi. Yes. Notes of diabetes and, uh, well, that's it. Because <laughs> it's pretty much just sugar, dear. Uh, I, I think they call it, like, English breakfast tea. It's really not. It is sugar. But, gosh darn it, is it addictive. <laughs> but I don't have it too often. I like to control myself. So really, Pachycanosaurus' role here is just to die. Or to die, dear. Kill it. And then just a Bergia. Well, you can kill me if you want to. Oh, fine. Fine. Oh, gosh. Pachycanosaurus. No. Here it is. Um, the dinosaur of the hour. The hybrid. The abomination of the hour. So it went for full. Max, it's got one block, right? I feel like... Look at... I'm so glad that we record in 1440p. I went back to an old video I watched the other day, and I, I was just... How did I? <laughs> I mean, even still, if I wanted to, you know, getting it on a mobile phone, and you get the full, like, you know, dimension, but at the same time, I'm not first. Wait, hold on. Is that lag? That better not be lag. I hope we're still recording in 60 FPS. Has it been 2 FPS this whole time? It better not have been. Anyway, I'm tempted to stop the recording and just find out now, because sometimes it's smooth. Smooth there. Eh? Other times it, it stutters, but <laughs> I can't tell. Right, uh, I want to make sure I survive, so I'm gonna go for three blockers. Oh, it had one. I factored that in. Oh, Scorpius, you beauty, you beauty. Go, cool, blimey, it's gorgeous. Or as a Geordie would say, proper lush league. That's where I'm from. The toon, Geordie land. Oh, <laughs> I knew it. Oh. Never mind, maybe this is the thumbnail. Look at this! Look at these two! You know, they're weird designs. But I kind of like them. My monkey brain is like, it's cool. <laughs> so, you went for an all-out attack. <gasps> you fool! Die! Oh, it's another one! Yeah! Now, I think we'll... I think Styracosaur looks will go for two hits. Three hits, even, and kill us. So the victory is unfortunately going to go into the Indoraptor Gen... Oh, sorry, Indoraptor. When really, Scorpius Rex Gen 2 was MVP. Look, it's go sleepies with its eyeball, like, wide open. <laughs> I'm not sleeping. I'm not dead. Right, okay. Six for you. Ooh. Oh, it was a lot of damage. But one of the best battles you can do in the game because you're guaranteed a pack that will maybe give you bugs. There's a high chance of getting bugs.
can unfortunately only do it once per day. And unfortunately, well, I'll say once per day. Unfortunately, it costs bucks to get back. So there we go. A hundred buckaroos, some DNA, and a pitiful Argentina sauce. Right. Get rid of that. Don't need that. Co-19. Is it good? No, it's not. Bad, Owen. Bad. Naughty. Back into the corner. Oh, what's it? Haunted Harvest. <gasps> it's a spooky, scary pack. Ooh. Herbivores, only three. Oh, yeah. Give me those. Give me those to face up against. When oh, How many battles is it? Three battles. And you face me up against a level 87. I mean, maybe... I think I probably could do this if I play it right. You know, I'm going to prove to you. Today, we're going to do this. Let's do this. Today, we're going to do this. Let's do this. There we go. There we go. This got it. This got it back in the usual terrible, dark, dingy, please change it, visitor center. And uh, I haven't really came out and said this just yet. But I have officially over like maybe a week ago, I think. Was it a week? Probably. God, time flies when you barely get any sleep <laughs> because of a baby. Um, oh, yeah, I think that'll do it. That'll do it. I think that'll kill it. Uh, I've stopped playing Jurassic World Alive. And uh, I've closed the alliance. It's gone, disbanded. Uh, and l people put lovely messages. But the sentiment was the same all around. And that was basically... It's a shame that I'm leaving, but I understand. <laughs> you know, forever, you know, and I, I saw a comment the other day, even yesterday, I think it was, that asked me to play Jurassic World Alive. And I've contemplated doing a video on it. I feel like maybe it's a bit overkill, you know. People, people might think I'm doing it because of the drama, the drums, and being, oh, he's, he's quit it, why is he quit it? Uh, which isn't the case, it's not. That's all the reason why I would make a video, just to address it. And I feel like when one of these games comes to an end, like Jurassic World Primal Ops, like Jurassic Park Builder, I feel like it needs a send-off. It needs a final farewell. And I would have loved to have done it for Jurassic World Alive. And uh, technically, my account isn't deleted. It's just sus not suspended, but... Like, the way Lydia told me that they've got it is, like, I, they can delete it, but I have to file out, file out a form, or they can just hold it for me. So if I ever choose to come back, I can ask for it. And I think that's probably the best way. Because at the moment, it, it there was just so much keeping me to the game, which I didn't like. And it was a lot of you know, the, the, the dailies. I mean, I'll, make a, I'll put it in the video. It was just everything about the game... For me, it was just not enjoyable. I did not enjoy doing the dailies. I did not enjoy doing the tournaments. I did not enjoy darting the dinosaurs, getting nothing. I did not enjoy doing the PvP battles. Pretty much everything about the game, I did not enjoy. <laughs> and I probably didn't do anything in the game for probably six months, half a year. And I was still playing it. However, I wasn't doing anything in it. Now, ooh, this is a this is a tricky one, but I think I, can, I have to go for three here. I do, but I'm not dead with the T-Rex, which is good. And within six months of saving up resources, when they finally put up a new update, and they oh not finally, when they put up a certain update with new hybrids, I think I unlocked three of the hybrids, and that was it. Like all my all my my coin was gone because I'd spent it on upgrading or at least unlocking them, you know, getting the ingredients to get the creature, but then I couldn't level up the creature. And it, it just, to me, just summed up why I don't want to play it anymore. It's, it's, it's obvious the, the way it's, it is. It's built for you to waste your time and use your resources so you're more likely to spend. And that's basically it. And I, I gave them enough time, I feel, to warrant me officially going, right, I gave you like two or three years to get your act together. You didn't do anything. You didn't fix it. You just proved to me that you just want the same thing. You want to make me... Oh, God, no! That's not good! No! No! Damn it! I mean, that's the best I could have done then. Okay, it's not over. It's not over. But just shows how hard is this? I mean, maybe I could have put 
you know, mono stegotops in there. But really, this is the best I can do. It's the best strategy, I feel. I still have to go for three. Maybe I keep T-Rex in here. Maybe I keep T-Rex in. Let's see. Let's see. I don't mind using a speed up. I think I've got... I might not have any. <laughs> we'll see. One, two. It's still not enough, but T-Rex cannot kill me. We'll do the speed up. My bad. I didn't realize we didn't speed up animations. Right. So max you could do is 6,000 damage-ish. Um... So, you know what I will do? I'm going to go for a full block here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Now, I will switch into Tijongosaurus now. And I will go for three reserves instead of the two I would have had in the previous turn. Now, you have five. You'll go for four. One block. Factor in that. And then I think I've got enough to save up. So, yeah. That was a four attack. Out of his five. So, oh, that's the problem. I can't kill him in two hits. One, two, and it's just... So, it depends. Oh! Okay, it's got five, but I know I can't die in five. I die in six. It's got five. And I need to I need to have three, so it needs to go for some... They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Okay, so either... Oh, this is a really, really bad situation to be in. Either it goes for more than two block and I'm, I've lost. And the chances of that is quite high. Or it saves. And if I go for block, I'm lost. So I could either go all out attack and chances are it's probably got more than one block and might have two. Or I just go for four block and hope that it does an ungodly amount in there. Because it needs at least seven. And that's a reserve of three. That's a lot. So I'm going to go for four. The chances are higher with this. And it has seven. So, oh, well, there we go. There we go. I, I could have won. I could have won if I went there. The, the chance was way higher if I had done what I did. The chances of my success were way high, higher. However, the one in God knows how little chance it would have only went for one block. And it did. So this this is the problem, right? Not only if I was doing a tournament right now, that's how tricky that battle is. And what is the prize? Probably a common. Actually, no, it's quite high to get a, a good one, actually. But the rest of the prizes aren't worth it. There's no bucks. And I've used my top three herbivores, and I've only won one battle. Now you could say, well, you didn't have to use Tijongasaurus. But pretty much the first one is the best. Like, Tijongasaurus first is, is the only way to do it, in my opinion. And I didn't get anything. It is so annoying. Oh, we got... So oh, hold on. Here we go. I like this one. This one's good. Let's do this. This is a nice, fun battle. We get food, which we do need. We get VIP points for the pack, which we do need. But I, I really feel like the regular battles need to be rebalanced. Because they're too hard way too hard. Like, this is nice. I like this one. I can rattle through it. I can get some good prizes. It goes towards the Clash of the Titans. But it's one of the few battles that I can kind of still do. Uh, we'll go for... Level 30 Alangosaurus would help me a lot, actually. I need level... If I get level 30 Alangosaurus, these are piece of cake. Piece of cake. Not a problem. But because I don't, it's risky this one. So, I think? No? It's not a guaranteed kill. Oh, but it goes for it anyway. Well done, well done. Which is great for me, because it's a guaranteed victory. Beautiful, beautiful. See, there's fun things in the game. Yes, it's frustrating. At, at times, at times, you know, the, the battles are just a bit unfair. But you could, you could find workarounds. Uh, Chris, if this is another 90 odd, I swear to God. <laughs> Ooh. You know what? You won't be in rebirth. Despite what all of the fake trailers say, you won't be in rebirth, Chris Pratt. Because if, if YouTube's anything to believe, Chris Pratt is in rebirth. But not Bryce Dallas Howard, unfortunately. She's not. There we go. 
And then now it's pretty much one. Yeah. Doesn't matter what you do. Go for the four attack. It still won't kill me. You do? Or am I going to eat my words? Oh, maybe one more. I would have eaten my words. <laughs> He'd done one more attack, but he didn't. Go. Yes. Victory. There is food. Glorious food. Without it, we stopped death. And 260 VIP points. Very good. And finally, a 305. Here we go. Armor matter. Okay, is this a hard one? No, it's not, but it could be good. So I think we broke a record last video for how much DNA we got for one of these. However, the really big ones give you 20 to start with. This is only a 15, but we'll see how this goes. Because you never know. We'll just concentrate on this. Hey, hey, hey. 45? Yep. Yeah. Hundreds of DNA. Absolutely hundreds of DNA. You forget. Because I deal with thousands of DNA. But it's enough to buy a certain amount of dinosaurs, you know, certain creatures. I would check in, in the market, but I've already got, like, all of them ready to hatch, so. Oh, no! Oh, God! The humanity! <laughs> 200 DNA. It's still not bad, is it? Oh, okay, let's collect all these. And we've got a VIP season one as well. We've unlocked. Very good. Yep, do all those. What's it? 885. Nice. Takes us to 8,000. Over halfway of getting all the way there. We got one more? No. Let's see. Doom, doom, doom. They didn't change the blue. Or beta, the little icon. They still haven't changed it. They could have made it red. Didn't take that long. The 90. Ha! <laughs> no, I don't think so. So look at all this. Look at all the books, the card packs. It's glorious. Is there anything good in the lottery? Because if there is, I might submit. Mm, no. If it's a card pack, then yes, because you get the dinosaur and VIP points as well as all the other prizes. But at the moment, no. We'll just collect that coin back. And that is that. If you have enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, subscribe. What? Did you see it? If I, click, if I say subscribe, subscribe, the little button glows. That's new. Don't know if it does when you're watching this, but it did when I recorded it. And if you enjoyed the video, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.